in a narration found in Jamia Timizi, number 2389. The Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, advised that righteousness is good character and the sin creates a negative internal feeling and its doer would dislike others finding out about it. This narration indicates that the root of all good and righteousness is good character. This is when one fulfills their duty towards Allah, the Exalted, by fulfilling his commands, refraining from his prohibitions and by facing destiny with patience according to the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, and it includes fulfilling the rights of people according to the teachings of Islam. This can be fulfilled when one treats people in the same way they desire others to treat them. In fact, a person will not become a true believer until they love for others what they love for themselves. This has been advised in a narration found in Jamia Timizi, number 2515. Good character towards Allah, the exalted, and people is important to adopt as it will be the heaviest thing in the scales of judgment day and the person who possesses good character will gain the equivalent reward of the one who prays and fasts continuously. This has been advised in a narration found in Jamia Timizi, number 2003. The main narration under discussion also indicates how to judge one's actions. A sin is something which creates a negative internal feeling and the sinner would dislike others finding about their actions. If a Muslim adheres to this advice they will avoid the vast majority of sins, as human beings have been created in a way which alerts them when they commit most sins. This guilty conscience is in fact, a proof that one's soul has been predisposed to believe in their accountability on the day of judgment, as one feels negatively towards sins, even when they fully believe they will not be held accountable for them by people, such as the police. It is important to note, Muslims must still strive to gain and act on Islamic knowledge, as this internal warning does not occur with all sins and they will lose this warning system if they persist on the disobedience of Allah, the Exalted. This has been indicated in a narration found in Sunan ibn Imajah, number 4244. But nonetheless, it is still an excellent deterrent from sins, which Muslims must pay heed to.